I still love you. What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, 2700, y'all. And we back, man, on this good old Labor Day, man. Yes, indeed, y'all. And you know what I'm saying? By the title of the video, y'all can see, man, we're going to start it off with uh, directing this straight to Tesla, man. Y'all need to hit me up, man. Tesla, man, hit me up, man. Y'all been dodging me ever since Tesla came out, man. I've, I've been having this idea of making, you know what I'm saying, electric uh, lawnmowers and electric uh, weed eaters and, uh, you know, bush trimmers, man. All that I feel like all could have been electric, you know what I'm saying, to keep the, the noise down. And plus, you know what I'm saying, that's that's the best way efficient to go, you know what I'm saying, on lawnmowers and everything. But I feel like, you know, Tesla, you know, and the whole electric community or whatever been dodging me. Cause they don't want to reach out and take my idea. I feel like they trying to smother me so they can steal my idea. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to put that out on YouTube, man. And I, I, I've been holding that in for a minute, but you know what I'm saying? Just, it seemed like this is the only way, you know, for uh, people to hear my idea and fund me so I can have the, cause I don't have the money, you know what I'm saying? To do all this stuff like, or like these white rich people, man, or people of, uh, of, of that come in, of. Uh, of money and stuff like that man i ain't got that i ain't got that you know what i'm saying we we over here struggling so you know i'll be trying to come up with the ideas and or come up with the um the actual equipment and stuff myself but man that's that stuff takes time and it'll be here decades long man if i you know that by the time i can be able to get the stuff so definitely want to uh want to make it to happen so man i'm reaching out to the youtube world man y'all for to help me you know what i'm saying reach out to tesla man reach out to all the big electric companies man for to make you know what i'm saying to fund and to help out you know what i'm saying create these uh electric uh lawnmowers man you know what i'm saying the riding lawnmowers at that y'all i'm trying to make electric riding lawnmowers because i got i got acres of grass out here man to be having to cut all the time so just imagine man and then the noise down you ain't got to wear the ear muscle all the time you ain't got to worry about nothing messing with your hearing over time man stuff like that is going to be good in the long run and, and just imagine off one battery power you know what I'm saying you'd be able to cut your yard a hundred times down there before you even have to recharge that mug because you know you know you're just doing line work my nigga <laughs> or imagine coming with the weed eater all that'll be you know what i'm saying easy and better and with these motors that they making nowadays and that we have nowadays man they're more stronger more efficient man and they go the long way especially with the lithium battery so that's what i wanted to say first so uh without without you know what i'm saying anything else needing to be said y'all i'm gonna get directly in this video and today on the video you know what i'm saying we got dalton florida man dalton florida yes indeed man and we got a uh an old man, you know what I'm saying, stalking a six-year-old child, y'all. Now, y'all ain't going to believe that, 100%. An old man stalking a six-year-old child. Not only is he stalking, he was he was trying to finesse her, like finesse the little kid like, oh, yeah, baby, I'm going to turn you into a woman. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, take you to Disneyland. Yeah, all that type of stuff, man. Like, And then, you know, he had the audacity to do this multiple times over a course of I don't know how long, man. But the girl didn't the little girl didn't even want to come outside. And, you know, to these law enforcement companies, it shouldn't take this much. You know what I'm saying? For you guys to do your job. This man should have been unlocked up. Ben done had a, 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 a um, a restraining order on him. All type of stuff, man. It shouldn't take this long to where a girl end up getting raped or come up missing type stuff. You know what I'm saying? For real. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I ain't going to hold y'all up, man. I'm going I'm to show y'all better than I can tell y'all. Because, you know, a lot of people think I be bullshit, man. That's why I be having to bring it to the table. So before we get in this video, man, make sure y'all do me a favor. Make sure y'all go out there and like comment share and subscribe definitely do me that favor also follow me on the gram y'all can dm me with more videos like this you know what i'm saying or if y'all need custom t-shirts you know what i'm saying hit me up all day i got y'all 100 for real but hey without anything else needing to be said y'all let's get right up on in this video man for real Florida man is accused of stalking a six-year-old girl. Volusia County deputies say that she was so afraid of him that she didn't even want to go outside. Mm. The arrest follows yeah. months of complaints. Brian Didlake with our sister station in Orlando shows us what happened. The deputies finally confronted him. The deputies say the father of a six-year-old girl and neighbors led to the arrest of their neighbor, Mark Greenberg. Investigators say both the father and witnesses say Greenberg had a long pattern of harassing the girl and others. 
You got anything okay. on you? <laughs> Volusia County Sheriff's Office releasing video from an arrest over the weekend. The man seen in handcuffs, 55-year-old Mark Greenberg. He's being charged with aggravated stalking of a six-year-old girl. And, and then he going there smiling, y'all. Like, come on, man. Like, I want some charges like that. You don't go in there smiling. Just, Mark just look at it. He's come on now, for real. For real. You go in there smiling like that. It's just crazy. He might got mental issues, man. But I, I don't be, I just think that's the person he is, man. You you never know with these type of people. But dang, bro, for that's to, for the, him to get those charges and knowing the, what's going on, you go in there smiling. I mean, I don't know, man. Y'all tell me, is he smiling because he innocent or he, he smiling because, you know, he thrown off? I mean, like, damn, I, I don't know, man. This guy right here, man. He look like Santa Claus. How they try to make Santa Claus? Shit, I wonder where they stole the St. Nick story from. Was St. Nick Being Black? charged with <laughs> aggravated stalking of a six-year-old girl. His daughter, who's six years old, was crossing the street. And Mark Greenberg came out and was like, I'm going to turn you into a woman. I'm going to take you to Disney World. I'm going to make you famous. He's Dang. Yes. Hold on, hold on, y'all. <laughs> y'all be thinking I be making that shit up. I've been running back for y'all one more motherfucking time so y'all can hear what this lady just said now. Now, that's real as it get, for real. I'm going to take you to Disney World. I'm going to make you famous. He's saying yesterday he was telling the kids to be quiet and come to him. An arrest report says those comments were made in at least 11 incidents over a period of eight months. The father telling Volusia County deputies he believed the comments were threatening in nature with sexual innuendos. Mm -hmm. The six-year-old girl's father in the report saying the comments had gotten progressively worse and are occurring more frequently to the point where his daughter experienced serious emotional distress and has made her afraid to go outside. And multiple neighbors are mentioned in the report who also backed the father of the six-year-old girl's claims. One neighbor telling investigators Greenberg yelled at neighbors and their kids using a megaphone and spotted <laughs> driving by numerous houses while recording their children using his telephone. I can barely hear you. Can you speak up? A deputy said they tried Friday to speak with Greenberg about neighbors' claims against him but were denied. On Saturday, a warrant issued for his arrest. Like you had your opportunity to tell your side of the story yesterday and you didn't. I okay? stood right here and you told us no. Greenberg can be heard on body camera saying there may have been a misunderstanding. Well, I'm not going to argue it. There's two sides to every story. Mm -hmm. And what you've heard is there one side. Yeah, so you can argue your side in court. Now, Greenberg is being held on a $5,000 bond. He is expected to face a judge after the Labor Day holiday. We're in Deltona. Brian Ditlake getting results. Y'all, man, that's the end of the video, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, I'm going to be honest, man. I, until the end of the video, I, I thought the police was doing their job. But now I see, you know, I, I know the police. And everybody that just watched that, them police officers arrest that man because he didn't want to talk to him yesterday. That's crazy, y'all. So the police and the DA and the prosecutors, y'all only the only reason y'all arrest him because he didn't want to talk to y'all? So y'all put charges on him so you can talk to y'all like that's just crazy. So y'all don't have no evidence. Y'all basically saying that he say she say shit and y'all just want to talk to him. So y'all put the charges on him because y'all don't have enough evidence. I mean, if that's the case yesterday, y'all should have came and arrested him. I guess y'all had to get the judge and the DA to see that or whatever and to sign over. That shit fishy to me, man. Y'all should have been when y'all heard about that long time ago. He should have been arrested. He running around the neighborhood taking videos of the kids and stuff, trying to tell the kids that come here, shh, come on, come over here, come here. Come on, man. Either he got a mental issue or history of mental issue or this man really like little kids like that, man. He out there praying on something. Like, dang, if that's the case, man, go buy some pussy or something. God dang. It's Labor Day, y'all, man. I know a lot of people out there with their families out and about, but be safe. Your kids, be safe with your kids. Protect your kids, man. Y'all out these holiday weekends and out with your family doing stuff, man. Y'all got predators out here, man. Snatch your kids up. Kids come up missing. Don't be letting your eyes uh, your, uh, eyes off your kids, man. Y'all think, oh, they 12, they 13, they all right. No, keep your eyes on them kids, man. Especially when you out in public and out and, out and about like this. Somebody snatch your kids up so quick. Ain't no telling what'll happen, man. Ain't no telling what, what could be going on out here, man. For real, y'all see the y'all see the case, man. Y'all see this, and then as of today as well, y'all. And it's Labor Day. It's already five hundred shoot killings. I mean, five hundred shootings. Uh, people been uh wounded, with nobody finding out who did it in Baltimore. 
Like, we got all this stuff going on. And Baltimore barely re even reports shootings. That's the crazy thing. And it's like they've been hiding that shit. And that's just Baltimore. Just imagine all these other cities, man, across the United States. The United States, we in, we in so much BS, man. The president got us in war right now. We probably be going to war, a uh, whole world war with uh, different countries besides Russia, man. Like, it's a lot of stuff going on. And then we got all this stuff going on inside the country. We got people still kidnapping people. People still raping kids. We got all this gun violence going on. All this people still struggling. People still robbing. Like, come on, man. And it's all because, you know what I'm saying, the racism, systematic shit, man, that be goes on. And then y'all allow y'all self to do whatever. And then y'all all over your own jumping down everybody else's back while y'all got people out here doing this weird ass shit, man. How is this weirdo even in the house like that? It's people, good people that's struggling right now, man. That stuff crazy, bro. It ain't what you know, it's who you know. That's how it is, bro. And I, I, I believe that wholeheartedly, man, because, uh. You, you can be out here a good person doing the right thing, smart, et cetera, et cetera. And because you don't know the right person, man, your life can be shit. So, yeah, man, we need to change that as American people. You know what I'm saying? Not even America. Well, this ain't even America. That was just a white man made up name. We need to change the name to the real name. We need to stop living off some made up shit. <laughs> For real. That's and that's keeping it 100, but. You know, Elon Musk, man, if you hear, if you uh, watch this video, man, you get the whole video, man. Definitely hit me up, man. Definitely, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this happen, man. I, I definitely want uh, Tesla lawnmowers everywhere, man, or whatever. I don't care what brand you we gonna make it. I just want them everywhere. I want them, I want them sold in every uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, Walmart across the United States, man. Yeah, for real. I want the, I want the weed eater and everything. We don't have no more problems, man. People going to be able to be good all day, be able to do shit, work all day, just back to back, back to back. Don't even got to worry about carrying gasoline. You got your lithium battery pack with you, for real, and the charge on deck. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate it. Make sure y'all go out here and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely do me that favor. Also, man, follow me on the gram. Y'all can DM me with more videos like this, or if y'all need custom T-shirts, hit me up you know what i'm saying i got y'all all day 100 but hey like i said y'all it's your boy 2700 and i'm gone you gonna make me